taking its toll here in the Las Vegas Valley, and those affected say they want it to stop. Murders have come close to doubling since this time last year, and many are wondering why. Our Sasha Loftus went to Metro Police for an answer in this special report. She just shined in everyone's life. A beaming light to those who loved her. Michaela Daniels lost her life before it could ever truly start. Trying to realize that life is going to go on, but I'm missing the real big part of me. She was shot and killed at just 17 years old. Officers discovered her body on February 2nd after an argument outside a Northeast Valley apartment. That's when her mother got the call that changed everything. The scream that came out my child's mouth. It's just like, Mama, they said my baby is dead. Michaela's death is just one of many our valley has seen in the last few months. Murders and violence are on the rise here in Las Vegas, so we asked Metro Police why. You know, when somebody has um, had a loved one that is killed, you know, there's nothing you can tell them that's going to make their day or make it go any easier. Las Vegas Metro Homicide Lieutenant Ray Spencer describes the trend he says started halfway through 2020. From January through April of 2021, the department responded to 31 homicides. That's compared to 19 over the same time last year. COVID obviously we think is playing some impact. He says the pandemic has pushed many over the edge, but the leading cause of death is still domestic violence. Any type of assistance that someone can get that would lessen the opportunity that someone would have to batter or kill them is something that they need to seriously look into. Another community concern, young people getting their hands on guns. You have gun owners that are not securing their firearms properly, a lot of burglaries, because that's where they're getting the guns. They're getting them from car burglaries, they're getting them from residential burglaries. And that's where Nikayla's family wants to push for change. Too many guns out there, and that's something that people don't want to address. They know no amount of time or grief will bring her back, but they hope the courage to share this story will help others understand. Just wondering why, why was she there? and How did it escalate to something this drastic? Michaela was more than just a number. To her family, she was a treasure and she will never be forgotten. It just hits you and then you break. Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now. Lieutenant Ray Spencer says Metro homicide detectives have a 97% solvability rate that's well above the national average. Now, if you or someone you know is the victim of domestic violence, you can call that number right there, 1-800-799-SAFE. And we also have a list of local resources. You'll find that on our website.